Okay, I'm removing the uh, one of the speaker jacks. Decided to put a switch instead, so I can pick four or eight ohms. As you can see, the shield is only connected at one end. Sometimes if you put the shield connection at both ends, you get a ground loop. You have to know how to lay out an amplifier. You can't just copy the schematic. I had originally put in the wrong place. I had to move them. Okay, these are one ohm cathode resistors that I'm going to be using to measure plate current when I adjust the bias. I originally put them to the same ground point, but I changed that later due to high frequency instability. Wasn't a big deal, I just unhooked one of those resistors from that ground point and moved it to another place over on the left and ran a new ground wire. These amplifiers are very sensitive to high frequency oscillation. You can see in the upper right there's four 3.9 ohm power resistors there. That's my uh, safety load in case there's no speaker plugged in the amp. They're in series, so it's 10 watt, 16 ohm load, just for safety purposes. One, two, three, four, five. They're disconnected when you plug, plug into that switching jack. These resistors are uh, grid suppressor resistors. They isolate the grid from anything else. They're, uh, 1.5k ohm. These resistors I'm putting now are for the bias. I just guessed at the values. These are 100k. I put the uh, 200 Ks in series to the negative and in the center of that connect that uh, 500 K ohm pot to ground to adjust the bias. I later changed the resistors going to negative to 22 K. I think Fender uses 220 K which is a bit high. Tube manual recommends no more than 100 K ohms grid resistance. That's one of the resistors. 
resistors that gets replaced it's going to the negative supply and then to the divider between the pot and the grid resistor. used to wiring potentiometers so that they increase resistance in a clockwise direction. That's how I wired them. However, that would uh, decrease the bias. I should say increase the bias. So we decrease the plate current. I want the plate current to go up with clockwise rotation of the bias control, which is more logical. So I end up moving the wires around a bit on those pots. No big deal. Could go both directions because you're metering it. Is it too long? If I can find some. 100 MA full scale cheap meters. I might install them permanently with a push to test bias switch. Ooh, there's a hole. Meters are becoming rare things. I need to solder that in there. Right here I'm wiring the uh, which tube is that now? the reverb tube. Using both sections of the 12AX7. Those are vintage capacitors, 0.02 600 volts. I got a whole bag of them. Get some more solder. Here, I'm moving the ground wire. So I have more room here. See how big that guy is. Twenty five microfarad, twenty five volt. It's a one K 
resistor, I think. Looks like a brown, green, red. Brown to pin eight. Anybody else on pin eight? Nope. going to that shielded cable which heads down to the reverb pot on the other side of the amp. When I laid out this amp I didn't really pay any attention to what was going where. But if I was going to build a copy of this amp I would move that tube function down to the other side and move the preamp input to this side where the input jack is not a big deal 